Thank you all so much for being here. Hello, hello, everybody. Thank you all. For anybody new here, hi, hi, I'm Maggie, your substitute teacher. I'd like to welcome you to yet another struggle cooking class where I am not a professional chef, nor am I a professional YouTuber. I am just a mom and a home cooker sharing my love of food on my health and wellness journey with you all. I saw a recipe today on Nutrition Babe's page. She's a dietitian who's also lost 100 pounds. I'm trying to get just like her. Um, but this is a sheet pan meal. And I saw it and I said, oh, I've got those ingredients. So we're going to make it. Hello, everybody coming in. We're going to take attendance. If you would like to be counted present, feel free to announce yourself. However, if you prefer to watch quietly from the clouds and y'all know who you are, you're always welcome here. We are the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. On Instagram, I see Meet Mika, I see Paige. Hello, my dear. Dylan is here. I am Ria says hi. Hello, sweetheart. Thank you all so much for being here. <laughs> Official honor is here. Uh, Kat, is that Casey? It's got your hand up. You want to be counted present? Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see who we have on TikTok. I see Sherry, Virgil, user Margie. <laughs> my name is Margaret. Maggie is my nickname. Debbie, user Mollywood, shortcake. That's cute. Robin, Bluetooth. E Luck at Janet, Kathy, Sandra, Steve, BJ, Edna, user Melvin, Carson, Melissa, and user. Thank you all so much for being here. Hello, Free Spirit Music. And over here, we've got Jurgen. Hello, Jurgen. I was actually thinking about you. Inbox me if you are close to Frankfurt. Jurgen is across the pond, one of our moderators over in Germany. You all know, or if you don't know, I'm part of a travel group. I go somewhere different every summer. This summer, I'm going to Egypt in June. Yes, June. Last year was Greece and the year before that was Italy. So when I'm not in the kitchen, I take you all on the road with me. So if you want to see the ancient world, stay tuned. Hello, Chef Diddy. we got a real chef here. I am not a professional chef, but I just got my flight confirmation and I will be connecting through Frankfurt, Atlanta to Frankfurt to Cairo, and then Cairo to Frankfurt back to the U.S. I think I've got about three or four hours. So if you're close to Frankfurt, and um, you're available in June, inbox me and uh, I'll let you know my details. I'd love to meet you all when I'm traveling. Last year we met, um, oh gosh, in Greece. Oh, why is her name escaping me? But anyway, I love meeting you all when I'm out. Okay, focus, Maggie. We got Gilis in the house. Hello, my dear. Want to be natural is here. Coco Rose says, hi, all. Hello, everyone. Let's clean the counter. Let's wash our hands. And uh, I'm going to show you all the video that came up in my stream. And then we're going to try and recreate it. All right? So let's clean up. Anastasia. That's who it is. Anastasia. Yes. That's who we met in Greece. When I went to Greece last year, she messaged me. She said, Maggie, I was born and raised in Athens. I would love to take you around. So we met up. We went to a beautiful cafe. Ugh, it was lovely. So this summer will be Egypt. All right, everyone, everyone, happy Monday. Thank you all so much for being here. It's always uh, good to cook for you. Hello, Drea. Thank you so much for being here. Ooh, the condemned says he donated white blood cells today. Is that the platelet donation? One of them. Dialysis? No, I know. There's something. <laughs> Good for you. You're drained. Oh my God. You got to eat. He says, what are we eating? Let me show y'all what we're eating today. Uh, I'm going to call it a sheet pan meal. It's like cheese and broccoli. She does a tofu version. I know we got some vegetarians in the house. Not me. We're going to do the chicken version. So let me show y'all. Let me clean my hands. All right. Oh, Jurgen says, no, you're near Cologne or Dusseldorf. Unfortunately, my German geography escapes me, but I'll wave to you from the airport. We've got info security in the house. Thank you so much for being here. Bonnie Young is here. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so let me show you all what came up in my feed because I'm always <laughs> greedy watching these cooking recipes. All right. Best high protein, easy dinner. All you need is a sheet pan, sheet with cheese, top it with steamed broccoli, you can even steam it in a microwave. A parchment paper over the top and take a cup to smash it down until it looks like this. Add pressed slices of tofu, you can also use chicken. Did you know you could eat tofu raw? Cheese in the top with just onion powder and garlic powder, pop it in the oven. Mm. 
This okay. Is best, so all you need is a sheet pan, or a cheese. Let me let the reel go through here. So literally, we are going to get a, a sheet pan. Um, <laughs> getting some errors. Hopefully y'all are still here. Okay, so we're gonna get a sheet pan. We're gonna get these ingredients and this is gonna go in the oven. While it's in the oven, uh, I'll recreate my little uh, buffalo chicken pinwheel I made the video of, um, cause we've got to put this in the oven for about 20 minutes or so. All right, so if you all can see here, and again, I always give uh, credit to the recipe creator. So her name on IG in most places is Nutrition Bathe. She's also Ilana Molstein RD. So she is a, um, a real dietitian. I am not. Um, and you all can see her uh, socials right there. So you all can follow her. So it says bake at 350 for 25 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven. Y'all know if I were doing this for myself, I would do it in the air fryer. Neek Nika says, Miss Maggie, how have you been? How long have you been dairy free? Great question. Let me open up the oven, check to make sure it's empty. <laughs> Y'all know I use it for storage. Um, so let's take some stuff out and I will uh, go ahead and turn it on 350 to preheat because this is going to be pretty much uh, an assembly meal and I will answer your question. All right, let's go ahead and turn this on 350 and bake. All right, so let's see if I can talk and uh, work at the same time. <laughs> okay, we got Belle in the house. She says, hello, Maggie in class. Hello, my dear. Wannabe is watching on the train. I understand. Sometimes y'all can watch without listening. Sometimes you can listen without watching. I'm just glad that you're here. No problem, sweetheart. <laughs> Gilly says, I tried to do this with Parmesan and it didn't come out good at all. It was one of those fake news recipes. I hope this one works. All right, you and me both. All right, so let's get a sheet pan. And if you notice the size, it looks like she's using a half sheet pan. That's what I'm going to do. This looks like a, a nice size for a meal for one. Okay, so this is about the size of like what, 11 by 7 manila folder. In comparison, a full sheet pan. Sorry, y'all, it's going to be loud. those cooking shows where everything's out and organized <laughs> this is not that all right y'all so i know we have some new people at different levels of cooking so the big one this is a full sheet pan so like if you go to walmart or costco or any of those places sam's pub and get a big like birthday cake this is a sheet cake okay and this is a half sheet pan so that's what i'm using the half you could obviously do a smaller portion or bigger portion if you want to. All right. I haven't forgotten about you, Neek. I'm leaving it there. I'm going to, I'm going to pin it because I am going to answer your question. Let me get started and um, let's get it started. Uh, let's get it started in here. Let's get it started. Uh, let's get it started in here. Okay, I feel better now. If you're new here, I have musical outbursts. It just comes with the cooking. Hello, big homie on TikTok. Hello, hello, everyone. We got Tara in the house. Hello, sweetheart. Thank you so much for being here. Tara is part of the finishing school. You all know we are having a happy hour. All are welcome. Lucy is coming all the way from California. You can go to teachablemomentswithmaggie.com and we are having Spanish tapas, sangria, meet and greet network, all that good stuff. Friday, April 5th, all are welcome. We got Lisa, Lisa, head to toe, I know. Okay, Lisa, Lisa and Colt Jam in the house is here. Galee says TCM needs ribs and steak. What is TCM? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Y'all are laughing at me. Linda's in the house. Linda, I just got, oh. I know you sent this to me a long time ago. I got your thank you card. I have like a virtual post office and it was basically sitting there uh, in storage. So thank you for Linda with the love notes. Thank you for your love note, my dear. I appreciate y'all supporting so much. Can Lisa dancing with me? You are TCM. Oh!
Okay, that was not elegant. I'm so sorry. Condemned. I just want to say condemn you. <laughs> Let's get started, y'all. Okay. So if you watch the video, notice that on the sheet pan, she has some parchment paper on here. I'm sorry, condemned. You know I love you. He's the reason why I have the pearls and you have started a movement. Shout out to the finishing school. Um, someone said Maggie out here making clones. Focus, Maggie. Okay, so we need parchment paper on the sheet pan. Let's get parchment paper, all right? Oh. Okay, so parchment paper has been treated with silicone. It's great for the oven. It's great for um, non-stick and something else I want to say. It's not wax paper. Okay, so don't do wax paper. Wax paper will smoke in the oven. So yes, it looks all janky because I just move all fast like a bull through a china shop. All right. So we've got some parchment paper here. And I'm going to put a little bit of oil so it will stick. You can also do water. You could also crumble it up. This is just a little bit of my coconut oil um, so it doesn't just roll up on itself. What is going on? I'm having some issues with um, Facebook. So if y'all are watching on Facebook, sorry, come over to YouTube. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes technology does what it does and I'm just gonna get my little pastry brush and get it greased up. Um, this is really me at home making dinner, <laughs> whatever I'm going to eat. So let me tell my story. I know Nika has been waiting on this answer. So I think I started my cooking channel in 2022. So yeah, we're a couple years old now. And um, clearly I like to eat, it's a problem. You know, I've always had a weight problem. Let's just tell the truth. All right, so you all can see how the oil kind of keeps it from sticking. All right, so then the first thing she does on the parchment paper is cheese. Now I'm dairy free, so I'm gonna tell you uh, I'm going to use manchego cheese, which is a sheep's milk cheese. When I say dairy free, I mean cow dairy. If you can have Parmesan, if you can have cheddar, if you can have all of that, have some for me. I can have goat's milk. I can have sheep's milk or plant-based. Uh, I'm not doing the plant-based. So let me show you what I'm using. Okay, so I just had this package here. This is what I'm using, Manchego. You can see this is sheep's milk, leche, leche de o, oveja. All right, I think I got this little tapas pack, Sam's Club, Costco. So this is different cheeses that I can have. So we have sheep's milk cheese, queso del cabra, which is goat's milk cheese, and aberico, which is a blend. Um, so you can see it comes like on this wheel. You can get the little slices, or you can get the Mac Daddy. This is a whole like wheel of cheese. The wheels of the bus go round and round. All right, so it comes like in a triangle and I just shred it. Most of the dairy-free cheeses that I use come in the block, maybe sliced, but most of the time you gotta shred it on your own. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. Let me get a shredder. And depending on the size of the pan, we want to shred enough cheese so we have a nice little layer here. You know what I need to do? I need broccoli. Hold up. All right. We're going to do two things at once. This is broccoli frozen, uh, obviously, from the freezer. So I'm going to put this in the microwave to steam while I'm shredding the cheese. If you don't like broccoli, do cauliflower. If you don't like cauliflower, do carrots. Do whatever vegetable you like. If you have picky kids uh, or picky men, this could be a great way to get them to eat more vegetables as well. So you can get these at any grocery store, maybe even the dollar store. Just plain uh, broccoli steam in the bag. So this is four minutes. <laughs> four minutes. Four minutes, Dougie Fresh, you're on. Is it four minutes? Yes, it's four minutes, and then it's also Madonna. What is the song? Y'all know that song. 
dun, 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 with Justin Timberlake. Somebody give me the lyric. Um, I only got four minutes to spare. <laughs> Y'all know the song. Look at me crazy if you want to. Anyway, focus, Maggie. This side up, four to six minutes. All right, so we're going to do six minutes, no, five minutes. I like to go in the middle, all right? Five minutes frozen properly. Oh, that side, five minutes. Okay, so now while that's steaming, the oven is ready, Lord of mercy. Okay, okay, just wait. So the oven is preheated to 350. Let me shred the cheese. How do you prepare my, y'all are still talking about these ribs. You're going to oh, send some ribs from Birmingham. Oh, my gosh. Y'all are, yes. Ribs and whiskey. Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all are talking about how to make ribs. Okay, focus. Those of y'all that are here with me, Galicia is doing her own cooking class, which is great. Okay, so while I shred, it's been a while. Some of y'all don't know my whole substitute teacher story. Okay, so we're going to shred the cheese. We're just going to keep going. So, like I said, I've always had a weight problem. And then as I got older, how did my, oh crap, my, my IG live just ended. I don't know why. I'm just going to keep going. Y'all, the internet is doing what it is. Poor Neek Nika asked for the question. Um, so I've always had a weight problem. And then as I got older, the weight problem started to turn into a health problem. Meaning I used to be pre-diabetic. I used to have elevated cholesterol and borderline blood pressure. <laughs> we got four minutes to save the world. Y'all know the songs, okay? <laughs> All I got is four minutes. Hello, Bella. Hello, my dear. Y'all check Bella out. She's also a content creator. Um, and, you know, just joint pain and a lot of stuff that I thought was just, oh, I'm getting older. I'll be 49 at the end of the year. So I just thought, oh, I'm just getting older. And you, y'all know how we do. I saw a lady at work who had lost some weight and I was like, oh my gosh, you look incredible. What did you do? Cause y'all know we'll try anything, right? And then, so she told me she went and she got her gut health checked. I don't know what that is. Y'all, I've tried everything. It all works. You just don't stick with it and then the weight comes back, right? So she said she got her gut health checked. And I was like, what does that even mean? So she told me about this metabolic specialist that she went to. Y'all met Nancy, I've done a collab with her. And uh, I'm still shredding, y'all. The cheese. We got the cheese, please. All right. Um, met Nancy. And um, she did a couple tests. She swabbed the inside of my cheek with like a little cotton swab thing. And then she took some hair samples. I shouldn't touch my hair in the kitchen. Sorry, y'all. Oh. All right. Here I come. I'll know y'all talk about me. Let's see if we can shred, uh, spread this out. We'll do a little bit more shredding. So she took some hair samples and she swabbed the inside of my cheek and then she sent it off and she said, you know, I'll get back to you with the results. And I was like, okay, this is weird. So when I got my food sensitivity test results, turns out a lot of the food that I was eating every day, I was sensitive to. So in the beginning it was chicken, coffee, dairy, citrus, gluten, Y'all, I was literally looking at this list like, what the heck am I supposed to eat? <sighs> well, apparently I found out, unlike allergies that you have like um, an immediate response to, and sometimes it can be very serious, we have food sensitivities and food intolerances that your body, you'll continue to eat it, but you may have like joint pain. You may feel bloated. You may feel tired. Um, what did I used to have? Um, like just dairy makes me kind of like mucusy. Like there's just all kind of stuff that you just kind of power through. And so she put me on an elimination diet. And I was like, what is that? Basically, I had to stop eating the things that came up on my test results. Now, the good thing is that a lot of these things you can eat from time to time. You just can't eat them all of the time. Um, and so you just want to do it sparingly if you have like a mild sensitivity, excuse me. So I would continue to get retested and some of those foods would fall off of my list. So I was able to bring back coffee, bring back chicken. However, the three that stayed on there were sugar. All of us eat too much sugar. I'm not a doctor. Um, dairy and gluten, which is wheat and dough. 
So I started substituting because I still cook for the family. I think this is enough cheese. I still cook for the family. Y'all see, I still cook man food. I'm a boy mom, two sons. So I got to make them like all the regular stuff. So we got a nice mountain of cheese here. I'm just going to spread it out. I will still cook for the family real like Bisquick pancakes and Oscar Mayer bacon and just all of that, you know, stuff. And I just remember one day I was cleaning up and I was like, I can't have any of this. And then something was like, I wonder if I take the ingredients that I can have and make the food that I want to have. All right, y'all. So our um, broccoli is done. We've got our bed of cheese. So you all can see this is my sheep's milk cheese. Manchego is like a Parmesan. It's a dry, salty cheese. Okay. So that's what we did so far. Let's get our broccoli out and I'll continue the story for, whoa, it's leaking. Sorry, y'all. All right. Let's see. Let me get some scissors. Careful opening those steam bags. Y'all know I've had issues with stuff exploding in the microwave. Those of y'all that have been with me anything can go down. All right. So we're just going to cut this open. So anyway, I started like recreating recipes. So I work from home and I watch the cooking channels. I don't know what y'all watch. Okay. The steam is coming up. I don't know what y'all watch, but I watch the cooking channels because the news and all that other stuff, it just stresses me out. All right. So we, mm, we have steamed broccoli. Let me get some tongs. All right, so we're just going to, let me get a paper towel because it's leaking hot water. Oh. All right, so anyway, careful y'all. Kids can help in the kitchen, just um, focus and uh, make sure everybody's safe, all right? So um, I started, you know, I've always watched these cooking shows and then I would say, oh my gosh, that looks amazing. That looks amazing. Oh, but I can't have that. Oh, but I can't have that. Oh, but I can't have that. I'm using the tongs, y'all, because there's hot water at the bottom and I don't want to wet my cheese. So I'm just kind of getting the broccoli, steamed broccoli out. You could do as much as you want or as little. I'll do the whole bag. I'm just kind of looking at hers. Um, so anyway, I started just recreating recipes and just experimenting. So if I saw pancakes, I'm like, ooh, I can't have flour. What if I try it, you know, without flour? What if I do coconut flour, almond flour? So I started doing these substitutions. And um, it gave me a way to enjoy food, especially when you eat with others, so you don't feel like you're missing out, right? So that's what I started doing. And then when I started my, well, I would make the food on my own, just minded my business. And I'm pretty good with presentation. And so just to hold myself accountable, you know, I would start posting, this is what I'm eating today, just on Facebook or whatever. I would just be posting, this is what I made. Let me see if I can get the rest of this out without hurting myself. Um, and then, you know, because the plates look really good, people started asking me, did you make that? I'm like, yeah, I made that. Then they would come in the comments and they would say, well, how did you make that? All right, let me toss this hot water carefully. All right. So they would ask me, how did you make that? Put a pin in that. So we have our steamed broccoli. You all can see it's still very hot on top of our layer of cheese. Next, she's going to put another layer of parchment over here. We'll just use this raggedy piece so it doesn't... Um, waste and then she uses like a, a wine glass and we're just going to smash the broccoli we want the broccoli flat so that it can give us this nice little sheet of crispiness all right so let's get a wine glass all right so she's using a stemless glass ladies in the finishing school you know that if it has a stem always hold it by the stem so we're just going to use the bottom of this this could be a shot glass it could be a highball it could be whatever and we're just going to Press the broccoli, smash the broccoli. This would be good for the kids, all right? So y'all can see before the smash and after the smash. I don't know if y'all can tell, but we're gonna smash all the broccoli. 
Okay. So people would notice my posts and then they would say, Maggie, did you make that? And I'm like, yes, I made that. Then they would ask me, how did you make that? And I said, um, I would respond in the comments. First I did this, next I did this. You know, I would just basically type what I did to make the recipe. It's still up, y'all can go all the way back on my social. Like I say, I've been cooking since 1842. Anyway, all right, ooh, it's looking good, y'all. Look, the heat from the broccoli is already kind of melting the cheese. Y'all see that? See how it's, um, I love this stuff, such a food, a nerd. You can see how some of it's still lifted up and then the rest is kind of smashed in there. Okay. So anyway, um, I would just respond in the comments what I was doing. And then, you know, when I decided to start this YouTube channel, I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm tired of answering, did I make that? And I'm tired of explaining how I made it. I'm just gonna go live and I'm cooking every day anyway. So I might as well just walk y'all through what I'm doing so people can see and we can try these recipes together because that's one thing that brings us all together, right? We all eat, food is universal. And y'all know if you're here with me, sometimes I like it, sometimes I'm like, no, no, okay, just no. But um, <laughs> um, that's how, what was the question? Y'all, I'm getting old. You know how you ask old people something and they just go? Um, so I did the test. It was pandemic. So 2020 is when I got my food sensitivity test. So what I tried to do y'all, I'm not super strict, especially honestly with all the travel I do for like YouTube. And when I go to Egypt, I'm eating what they eat. Okay. I want all the snacks. I want to try all the stuff in the restaurant. I'm greedy. So that's what I do. Okay. I think we're good. I'm tired. Cause that's a lot. Okay. Let's see, now this looks beautiful. So we've got our smashed broccoli, you all can see. And then what does she do? I think she just, oh, she cuts up tofu. She calls it a protein dinner. Uh, Mr. Magic likes broccoli, wonderful. I'm not doing tofu. If y'all wanna do tofu, you can. I have some uh, buffalo, chip, buffalo chicken. If y'all saw, I made some of this in the uh, slow cooker. So this is just leftover buffalo chicken, shredded chicken breast. You could use rotisserie chicken. You could use barbecue chicken. Another way to kind of um, reuse leftovers. I'll finish the story in a minute. So I'm just going to get in here with my hands and I'm just going to do a layer of buffalo chicken on top of all of this. All right. So we have our protein. Y'all can see it's nice and juicy. I'm just going to get in here and kind of put it all over. So yeah, in 2020 is when I started. So like I said, I try to do 80-20. It's really good for maintaining. It's not great for losing. I really need to be strict to get the rest of this weight off. But um, when I'm home and I control my own groceries, um, this is where I stay very dairy-free, sugar-free, and gluten-free. Um, but the blessing for me, the good thing about it for me is that now, when I go out and I eat off of my plan, I know if I have joint pain the next day, I know exactly what it was. I know it's not just aging. It really is what we eat, y'all. So do with that what you want to. Let me wash my hands. So that is the long-winded version of how long have I been dairy-free? Okay, so now we have chicken, nice and colorful. Um, Bella says I should get one of those tests. Yes, absolutely. My uh, metabolic specialist is lockedinwellness.com and I know she does like virtual. I'll be talking to her tomorrow if one of the moderators wants to drop Nancy's link. Uh, but you can do like Everly Well, check your insurance. Sometimes they'll cover it too. Okay, I think after this, all she does is onion powder and garlic powder. And then finally, it's gonna go in and then I'll check and see what y'all are saying. You could season it with whatever you like. Uh, manchego cheese or Parmesan cheese is already pretty salty. So I'm not gonna add any extra salt. I don't have to worry about salt. I'm gonna go light on garlic powder because sometimes I think it can really overpower, but I'll just do some 
garlic powder. So for me, it's just the information. It's like, y'all know, y'all know. You know how you eat something? It's like every time you eat whatever, you have like, not an allergic reaction, but it just takes a couple days to get right. At least you know what it is. So if I'm diving in and I'm gonna eat that pizza, I know exactly what I'm doing. All right, everybody. So we've got our onion powder and garlic powder in here. So this is gonna go in the oven. She says 350 for 25 minutes, all right? So now I'm already noticing she did um, tofu and she laid it flat. My chicken is kind of up high, but look, at this point, let's go in. All right, 350, let's put that in. And let's do the timer. Um, okay, so let's clean up and then I'll show you all that pinwheel. Um, let me see if I can get back on uh, Instagram. I don't know what happened. Sometimes y'all, it's just, these um, interwebs. Okay. Here we go. All right. So most of the ingredients are the same. I made a video about this, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it live because we got 20 minutes for that to cook. All right. What's everybody saying in the chat? All right. Let me scroll all the way back. At least in her uh, ribs and whiskey. All right. Galisa saved the world, Maggie. Oh, four minutes to save the world. Look, I told y'all I'm not cool. I make up my own songs. Whatever I feel like <laughs> sounds good at the moment, I'm saying it. Neek, Nika, I just answered the whole question. You'll have to catch the replay. I don't know. It just, it just ended on me. You missed it. I'm sorry, sweetheart. But I, I continued the story. Um, I'll post it after. Okay. Let's see what are y'all saying? Okay, y'all are talking about the condemned Jurgen's cheering us with his beer. Okay, Bill says maybe, might be a good time to have her back. Okay. Oh, have Nancy come back. Yeah, we should do another collab. I had a collab with my metabolic specialist because a lot of you all have questions about that. I think it's good to have the test just so you know, because let's say you drink milk all the time. You like to, I love this stuff, y'all. Don't get me wrong. I love milk. I love bread. Clearly, I love sugar, but it just doesn't love me back. And so I just want to eat it sparingly so that I don't have, y'all, I was taking a lot of pain pills because I thought I would have this old sports injury. And it was just like that. Even before the weight came off, the pain went away. That was it for me. <sighs> Somebody help. Khalees. <laughs> I, I don't know. Between her whiskey and bourbon and, and barbecue, uh, the condemned says, I was ready to fight my doctor when he said, you might want to cut out bread and dairy. A lot of us, y'all, a lot of us. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Can't eat bread. I love bread. But y'all, I'm telling you, when I eat the dough, give me a croissant, give me pizza crust. The next day, I feel just like achy in my joints. Um, dairy makes me mucusy. Sugar just gives me muscle cramps. It's a lot. Oh, fresh bread. Yes. Do not take me to a bakery. Mm -hmm. I know there's nothing like fresh, crispy bread. You're a bread baker. Oh my gosh. Not too much pressure on the glass. What did I do? Oh, on the microwave. Okay. Everybody doing well? Metabo oh, thank you. <laughs> when I say I'm not cool, that makes me cool. Y'all are so cute. Okay, so let me show you all how to make the buffalo pinwheel. Um, I made this on a video. I haven't made it live before. I got this from Keto Snacks, all right? So let's get the cutting board out. Simple. Oh. Well. Oh, where did you go? Okay, 
So this is a really simple recipe. If you've got leftover chicken and these same ingredients, I always just make them sugar, dairy, and gluten-free when I'm cooking for me. But if you can have the full flavor, that's why I say have the uh, full flavor for me. Hello, Trick, Just, and Sea Lion. Okay, you need a tortilla, all right? Any tortilla will do. All right, for those of y'all that are just hopping on, our sheet pan is in the oven doing its thing, so I'm just vamping for time. Hello, love. No, nope. thank you for being here. Angelita says pasta, yes. Yeah, something happened on IG. It just said your live has ended, but it's still recording on YouTube, and I'll make sure and post it over. Okay, so for the pinwheels, this could be a fun little snack or a meal or an appetizer, okay, with leftovers. I am using these high protein, carb friendly wraps. Again, gluten free, wheat free. This one is made with cassava, what, rice protein, pea protein, chick chickpea, bamboo. Look, if you can have a regular one, have some for me. But this is what I can have. I just get these at Walmart. So one tortilla, all right? So we have that. And then the first layer he puts on Oh, the lipstick? This is Sephora. See, it just ended on IG again. I don't know what's going on, y'all. Maybe they are, um, IG went down last week and Facebook just went off too. <laughs> but yeah, this one is Sephora. Try to um, keep you all in the loop. Okay, um, the first layer you wanna put on here is uh, cream cheese is what he uses. I'm gonna use a plant-based cream cheese because again, dairy-free. Um, ba -ba -ba. You could make this sweet, you could make this savory, just like our pancake. So I'm using Kite Hill Dairy Free. This is made from almonds instead of dairy. So I will tell you all this, and I'm the substitute teacher. Oh, I didn't finish the story, my name. So I started going live, and when I was going to go live, I was just going to name it something simple like Cooking with Maggie or Maggie can cook, you know, something simple. And uh, I was like, you know, that's basic enough because I'm regular. And my man was like, no, nah, that's boring. You need something exciting. Like you're always using those substitutes. Why don't you do something like Maggie, the substitute teacher? And I'm like, I'm not a teacher. I work in tech, y'all. He's like, I know, but you're always doing those substitutes and everybody can relate. Everybody's had a substitute teacher. Hence the reason I am Maggie, the substitute teacher. All right, so we have our plant-based cream cheese. So I'm going to spoon some on here. So that is my origin story. All right, so if you have real cream cheese or even if you have this plant-based, it's good to kind of let it sit out for a little bit. I just got this out of the fridge but uh, we're gonna smear it on with the spoon. But if you let it kind of come to room temperature, it'll be easier to move because you know the one in the block is um, pretty substantial. All right, so we just need a schmear. And again, this is Kite Hill. Give you all some dairy-free substitutes. Um, what I was gonna say, in all seriousness, the Kite Hill is good, but it's a little gritty. It is because it's made from almonds and almonds are nuts. So you know how cream cheese, real cream cheese is just kind of smooth. Um, the plant-based one, or at least this one, has got a little bit of bite to it. So I always got to tell y'all the truth. Now I'm going to smear it all the way to the edge like a pizza sauce. And honestly, you could skip this. It gives us a nice creaminess. You could do goat's cheese. You could do whatever you like. So if you can have the Philadelphia cream cheese, please do. All right, try not to tear this too much. So we just have some cream cheese on here. All right, the next layer is um, buffalo sauce and I'm out. I used the last one. I cooked the chicken in buffalo sauce. I'm gonna have some buffalo flavor from here. You could do hot sauce. I'll let y'all pick. Let me see what sauces I have. You could do barbecue sauce, hot sauce, buffalo sauce, salad dressing. All right, what do we got? 
We got Texas Pete. That's a little hot. We got Louisiana. Um, ooh. Um, let's see what else. We got Cholula. Let me just check the pantry, see if I have any buffalo sauce. And then if y'all have a favorite, <laughs> let the hot sauce wars begin. Um, oh, wait a second. Hold up. Hold up. Look what I found. Walden Farms Spicy Buffalo Vinaigrette. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. This is one of my calorie-free substitutes. And you can tell it's kind of watery. So I'm going to go light with this, zero calories. But buffalo sauce is good because I think it's just like hot sauce and butter. So it doesn't have uh, sugars in it if you're trying to avoid carbs. So to be honest with you, I'm kind of like, hmm. But we'll use one of the calorie-free ones. But again... You can use what you have. Gilly says Texas. I'll drizzle some Texas peat on it on the end for y'all. But um, this is where you can get creative. Let me just open it. This is where you can get creative. If you have uh, different sauces, you could do like the California Pizza Kitchen barbecue chicken. You could do barbecue sauce, um, whatever. So let me shake this up. Walden Farms has been approved for me because it's fat-free, calorie-free, gluten-free, sugar-free, all of that. Uh, but I'm going to be honest with y'all, they're a little bit on the light side, so pour gently because it'll really come out. So let's pretend this is like a proper buffalo sauce. I'm just going to put some in the middle. And it's okay because my chicken was cooked in buffalo sauce. So the chicken's got really good flavor. And then I'm just going to use a spoon. I'll do a little bit more. But if you have leftover, like just chicken breast or rotisserie chicken that doesn't have much flavor to it, then you could do, you could be a little bit liberal with the sauce. But y'all know, just watch the beverages and condiments because those can be a lot of extra calories. So you can eat a lot of the same food, but if you swap out some of your condiments and beverages to lighter options, it goes a lot a long way with the calories if that's important to you all right so we have some light buffalo sauce on here like a pizza so now we're going to go in with some more chicken so we'll do two meals Kelly says night oh that sounds great your drizzle she says oh man the avocado appetizer from california pizza kitchen is it good are they still around it's been years y'all you haven't been in that place in a million years i know right okay so leftover buffalo chicken for me, this is just shredded chicken breast cooked in the slow cooker. And I'm just going to do the same thing like we did with our sheet pan. It's still doing its thing. Got 13 minutes. All right. So just shake off a little bit of the excess. If your chicken's got really good flavor, got that flavor in your ear. It's so lame. But I like it. And y'all keep coming back. So I don't know what to tell you. All right, so we're going to put some chicken all in here. This could be pork loin. This could be, I don't know, canned tuna. Um, I just saw he did another one that was like crab meat, uh, like a crab rangoon. So whatever kind of sauce and whatever kind of meat that you like. All right. <clears throat> so you all can see we have our tortilla, our cream cheese, buffalo sauce, and chicken. So far, still sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free. All right, so now we need to roll this up. So you wanna roll it into itself and just, okay, make sure everybody can see. All right, so just gonna go in and kind of roll it tight if you can. The tighter you roll it, the more you have those little uh, pinwheels. All right, so I'm just kind of, y'all see going from the side. And then if you need to tuck in some of that extra chicken or whatever as it pushes, you may just need to tuck it in a little bit. All right, so go slow. And then we get to the edge and we have rolled up our pinwheel. All right, so now 
do I want to do it? The next stage, it's optional. He says brush it with butter. So we'll do that. You can brush it with butter or you could just kind of air fry it dry. Um, I'll put a little bit of butter on here or it could be coconut oil. And again, for me, dairy free, I like to give you all everything I'm using. So I'm using the country crop plant butter. You can totally skip this step. I'm just going to melt a little bit. That way, when we air fry it, you'll get that nice little golden um, brown. Hello, everybody. I'm scared to touch IG because it keeps um, dropping on me. Drop it like it's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> too much, too much. All right. So a little bit of plant butter. Again, completely optional. If you want a golden brown, you can do a little butter or oil. We'll melt this. If you just want like a toasty brown, you can skip this step. All right. But I know y'all are greedy. So let's microwave this for like just a few seconds carefully. All right. Y'all are laughing. Hello, Mario. Hello, Suede. Hello, Snow Good. Neek Nika, Sea Lion, Love J, Sa, Tim, Mario. Um, I am, uh, hello, Nathani. Hello, everybody. I'm struggling on IG today. All right, how are we doing? A little bit more. All right, I'm just gonna clean as we go. We're done with the parchment. We're done with the seasonings. Okay. So let's get our melted butter. Again, this could be regular butter for you. Let me carefully hold it so I don't burn myself. All right, so I'm just gonna get our little pastry brush that we use to do the parchment paper. And I'm just gonna go in here and we're going to brush. Ow, just hot. See our tortilla is nice and dry, kind of ashy. Maybe you like it like that. But we're just gonna give it a nice little butter bath. Who's here for the butter bath? All right, so get all around there on the nooks and the crannies and the corners. And you get your nice little, with the heat plus the butter or oil, you could use cooking spray. It's gonna give it like a nice um, crisp, okay? So we got it all greased up. I've got the seam side down so y'all can see. Now we're gonna cut it, all right? So I'm going to cut um, into six pieces. We'll probably have four that are good because we got these little raggedy edges. They will be all right. We'll still eat them, but for presentation. Hello, Hakeem. You want a sharp knife? All right. The reason you want a sharp knife is when you cut the pig, uh, pinwheels, um, if your knife is all raggedy, it'll smush it. You want it to go through clean. Bren says you need to follow TikTok Mama Trey. She goes live every night. Eat for your blood type. Ah, uh, inbox me her page because TikTok, it doesn't save the lives and then it's gone. All right, so we're going to cut in the middle. So cut it in half and then cut that half in half and that half in half. All right, so just eyeballing it. And literally you just want the blade to kind of go through nice and clean, just like that. All right, try not to pinch too hard. Let's see, let me do my, probably get a couple more. All right, the little raggedy edge is gonna be, <laughs> we'll figure out something with that. So you can make these big, you can make them small. We may get six out of here. All right, and then one more. I'm gonna, uh, little raggedy edges. Okay. So you all can see our pinwheels. Now we're gonna put these in the air fryer. Um, what is it called? Another silicone um, liner. These, these things up here. All right, you can get them round, you can get them square. My air fryer drip tray is square or rectangle. So what we're gonna do now is go back. Okay, focus Maggie. 
So we're gonna get our pinwheels and I'm gonna carefully lift it up. You all can see, and I'm going to, I like to cook them this way with the, um, what is this side up? So I get like a nice little cross section. I've seen some people put the seam side down, but to me it kind of flattens. So I like it like that. I like it like that, all right? Have it your way. Now this is a little bit wet if you had um, like rotisserie chicken or something that wasn't too saucy, it would be less, but it's okay. So ideally they should be nice and round. Let me see if I can, you know, I'm just gonna eat this. Mm. Okay, it needs to be cooked because it's cold, but look, we will be all right. So we're gonna put these in the air fryer. Everything is cooked. We just want that cheese to melt and then to get kind of toasty. So I'm gonna put it on the pizza button. What is that, like 375? Three sixty. So you're just going until they're bubbly brown. So we are done. I'm gonna clean all of this off. We've got five minutes on our sheet pan. Um, I'm just worried that my chicken, because her tofu was kind of flat, it's fine. So let's clean up and get our uh, workspace ready for the final presentations. Okay. Mom says clean as you go. Oh, shucks, I forgot. Seasoned a little bit more. Um, this is optional. They put a little bit of ranch seasoning on here. I don't have ranch. I'm gonna use this garlic Parmesan because the, uh, what is it called? The tortilla is just kind of plain by itself. Again, this is optional. Oh, it's not too hot. All right, just a little dusting and then. But y'all get the idea. You can get um, creative here. You can put as much as you want. Like I said, you could make it sweet. You could do like apple pieces um, and like a drizzle of honey. You could make it sweet. You could make it savory like we're doing. All kind of. Somebody said Craig Mack is the man. Did I miss something? Pinwheels are so good. Yeah, they're fun. Let me see if I have some fresh parsley for a garnish. That just makes it, that pop of green looks uh, really nice. Never too much butter. We got some extra butter. We'll take it out in a minute, uh, butter bath them one more time, do a little bit more seasoning, and that's it. All right, so cleaning up, cleaning up. But yeah, what would you all do? How would you all make the pinwheels? Um, this buffalo chicken, you could do barbecue, barbecue sauce, uh, like onion and uh, barbecue chicken, like the California Pizza Kitchen. You could do, I'll keep this glass and drink some water. Um, a dessert one would be really nice. I wanna try the crab rangoon one that he did. Cream cheese and like crab meat. The condemned is here. Um, he uh, enjoyed his lobster. I don't mind cooking for y'all. I don't mind to cook and ship it. Sometimes y'all want a special request or I still have. <clears throat> these are really good. Those of y'all that were with us the day that we made the carbonate brownies, these are really good in case anybody wants any. I'll ship you a couple for free. I don't mind to share. Clearly I can miss a meal. All right, so let's close this up. We're done with the cheese. We're done with the cream cheese. Ooh, Jurgen says honey is very good. Absolutely, you could do like, um, oh gosh, like a honey and, and brie, like a pine nut, like a little baklava thing going on. Mm -hmm. I have those berries in there. You could do like a berry pinwheel. Oh, so many options. That's how my mind goes. I make one recipe and then I'm like, ooh, all the other things you can do with it. So that's what I do here. Um, so to answer your question, Nika, 
I'll give you the Cliff Notes version. I was tested for food sensitivities in 2020. Dairy came up on the list of foods that my body does not tolerate well. And so what that means, you all, there are some foods that you eat that it could be an immediate reaction. It could take weeks. <laughs> Your body just doesn't, some things you eat and you like power through and you digest it really, really well. And you're kind of like humming along like a race car. Some things we eat, our body just doesn't process it well. You're kind of moving like a dump truck because it's what you ate and you didn't know. So I feel my best when I eat on my sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free. Um, you know, the weight loss is kind of like a byproduct, but I got a lot to do. You know, I'm going to be walking with King Tut this summer, going to Egypt. You know, I just remember like limping along, like, and you know, nothing wrong with getting old, but I'm like, I'm too young to be moving this old. And the biggest thing for me, when I went on my elimination diet and I started no sugar, no dairy, no gluten, even at my heaviest uh, weight, two days after I eliminated that from my system. I got up in the morning, like we all do, go to the bathroom, and I just was used to like limping because I got a you know, bad knee. And I was just walking to the bathroom and I was like, I'm not limping. I went on vacation, because I started in January, 2020, went on a Valentine's cruise, and I'm like, I'm eating everything. And I did, and I was in so much pain. Like my whole body, I was like, yeah, it's a wrap. All right, timer, done. Okay, let's put this away. Let's see how our sheet pan looks. Ooh, I just got an idea. Y'all, we could do breakfast pinwheels. We could do like uh, bacon bits or sausage, a little scrambled egg. Okay, let's take our pinwheels out, do a little bit of butter, a little bit of seasoning, and then put them back in until they're golden brown. Okay. So it's just something, oh, I was gonna chop up the parsley. All right. all right, they're not done yet, but you all can see what's happening here. They're starting to toast a little bit. All right, so let me get, Lisa wants more butter. So let me butter them up. This is optional if you really wanna cut the calories, just eat them dry, they'll be fine. But y'all are greedy. <laughs> so we're just gonna butter all around it. Oh my God, it smells so good. Is there anything that's better than like melted butter? And let's do a little bit of rotisserie chicken seasoning. You could do a pizza pinwheel. When you get it greased up, the seasonings will stick on there better. It just gives it a little bit of flavor. Again, completely optional. And we'll go back in. All right, we are. So I think we've done like five minutes. So you all can see they're starting to brown, but we want a little bit more toasty. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Ooh! Hold up. Oh, it smells so good. All right. I feel like I should do. I feel like I should do a little bit more. Here's the thing, because my parchment paper is brown, it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna put it on the bottom. Cause notice when she pulls hers up, it's like a whole brown sheet of crispiness. I'm gonna go maybe like five more minutes and put it on the bottom. Cause I wanna be able to pull up the whole thing and I'm gonna chop some fresh parsley. All right, so let's get a little bit more. Okay, I'm worried about that chicken, but it's looking good. Yes, looks good. Hello, MC. Hello, Rainier. Hello, Alden. Ray. Hello, Alan. Hello, everyone. Okay, um, let's put them in. Check away. Let's see if we can do get some parsley out for the um, pinwheels. Completely optional, but a nice little garnish. If I were doing California Pizza Kitchen, I would do cilantro. 
I love that with like onion and chicken and barbecue, but we're gonna do some parsley. So I'm just going to uh, grab off a little bit and rinse that and chop it up. I heard somewhere or read somewhere, you don't wanna rinse off the whole thing. You only wanna rinse off what you're gonna use because if you get the whole thing wet, it'll go bad faster, all right? So this is parsley. You can use the shaker one if you have the dry one, but I like to give you all fresh. I'm not a huge parsley fan on its own. It's kind of grassy if you ask me, but it's such a beautiful garnish. Whew, it's kind of bright. All right. Let's squeeze this out. I'm watching our, uh, what is that? The sheet pan. All right. Let me get in here and chop this up. And then we will plate our buffalo chicken pinwheels. And then we'll get the sheet pan out and we'll be done. Let everybody have their evening. You'll have your dinner and your snack. So with the herbs, I just try to pinch them together. All right. And we'll just try to run the knife through Use this on everything. Just looks kind of nice as a garnish. All right. Do we have our fresh parsley? We're gonna sprinkle that on. Let's take our pinwheels. Yeah. All right, one more minute. Let's turn everything off. And we'll turn that off. Let's get a plate so we can get ready for our picture. Everybody doing well? All right. So I just have a little tray like this. Um, it could be a square plate. It could be whatever you have. Hello, light. We're just going to put the pinwheels on there and um, garnish them with a little bit of parsley. And Texas Pete for Achilles. All right. I don't know if you dunk them in the Texas Pete, probably ranch or whatever, like think of the buffalo wing flavor, probably ranch would be a great dipping sauce, but just giving you all some ideas of what you can do. All right, all right, I think we're good. I'm excited. All right, everyone, everybody doing good? Just let me get a little bit brown. Oh, honey and brie sounds, sounds good. Gilly says, you used to do crab rangoon and got addicted to it? Yes, absolutely. I've seen some crab rangoon recipes. You would do it with brisket or ham? Of course you would. <laughs> but this is a great way to kind of feel, you know, a little bit fancy. Um, this could be a great appetizer, you know. Um, the kids would like it. Let me move this. We'll do the parsley at the very end because we're going to bring out the hot plate. I think we're good. On this one, I would probably do like white parchment paper just so you can see. All right. Um, okay. Y'all can see, got a nice little bubbling brown here. All right, let's see if we can get all six of these or at least the four nice ones. Probably four. We'll keep the little janky ones off to the side. All right. All right. I don't want to use the tongs because I feel like I'll squeeze them too much. So don't do this, but I'm just going to do by hand. All right. You all can see we have our nice little. And. Turn it into that old lady. All right, so we're good here. Let's do a little Texas Pete drizzle for Galice. Some hot sauce for you. 
or maybe just a little dab. I don't want to hurt my... Let me know if I need more than that. A little dab of hot sauce. Am I looking like a chicken? And then let's get some parsley. Fresh chopped parsley. Don't want a big chunk. So this is what, and then ranch or whatever dipping sauce you like on there. All right, <laughs> I love Patty Play Lottery. So this is done. So I'll taste the, um, so nice little presentation. I'll taste the janky one over here. So a little bit of hot sauce. So this is the, oh, y'all can't see. This is the, um, the air fryer side and then it's crispy on the other one. So I'll go in with a little, that's poor etiquette. Don't blow on your food. Just allow it to cool. Huh. Mm. It's good, y'all. The middle is just hot. So let them cool. But that's nice because these will keep warm. And for Linda, I'm not Linda, Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, and Colt Jam. Let me give you your last little bit of butter on here. Plant-based butter for me. All right. So y'all can see we got the nice little toasty. Oh, smells so good. Okay, y'all. So let's see if our sheet pan meal is ready. I'll move this here. We're gonna take the whole parchment out. Mm. I'm gonna try and slide it onto the counter and get rid of the hot pan. Okay, magic of parchment. Now, what we're gonna try and do is lift this whole thing. Yeah, I can already see. I probably need to go back in there, y'all. Mine didn't crisp as much. But, let me just go ahead and take my picture. I'm gonna try and get it off the parchment. Yeah, it needs to go back in there, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and end. I'm gonna take a picture and take a bite of the corner. Then I'm gonna put it back in there just so you all can see. And we will dismiss, but it looks good. So when you all see <laughs> this on my page and people say, did you make that? Yes, we made that. One with the flash. I'm gonna get a, a piece of the corner but I would say 375, not 350. Get up close on the food. And then I'm gonna do a no sound video because Marcus was like, mom, you need to do a voiceover. Okay, son. All right. Oh, and it's full. Okay. All right, let me take a piece from the corner so you all can see. We'll taste it. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. We got the chicken. We got the broccoli. Y'all see that? We got some crispy bits. I'm gonna put it back in the oven, but let's try it. Oh my God, y'all, it's so good. Mm. You have the saltiness from the cheese because we steamed the broccoli. It's soft and like just melts like butter. Got a little bit of that garlic and um, onion. Like she said, easy sheet pan meal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
I'm going to put this back in because I want it more crispy. But hopefully you all can see. You want the whole thing to peel off. But I think because she used tofu and hers is flat, you can see mine is raised up. Y'all can make this whole sheet and then just peel apart sections like nachos, like peel apart nachos. Mm, 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 mm. Nine out of 10. The only reason I'm not giving it a 10 is because I need to go back in more. But if you like your cheese kind of like soft and chewy, then you'll be fine. I'm going to try and make mine crispy if there's any left. Y'all see I'm eating it. Oh my God, y'all, it's good. Okay, let's go ahead and dismiss so I don't embarrass myself. All right, where is the, it's still going to get, mm. Mm. some ranch dipping sauce, low carb, sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, this is when I get silly. Mm. This for you. I want a little bit of heat on it. You could do buffalo and ranch. This is optional. I got my picture, but give it a little, give it a little love. Shit. All right. Y'all know how you just keep picking at stuff? Mm. Mm. All right. Okay. My nose is running. So <clears throat> go ahead and go. Hello, love. Hello. I know. Sorry, Instagram. I don't know what happened. We're going to go ahead and dismiss. So today's Monday. So I'll do another cooking stream tomorrow. What are we making? I don't know. When are we making it? Probably 5 p.m. Eastern time. I'm in Atlanta, so I try to share dinner with you all. So hopefully this gave you an idea. Thank you, Instagram. Thank you so much, TikTok. Johnny, I'm doing well. I know there's going to be nothing left to put back in the oven. I keep messing with it, right? I didn't eat today. I had fruit and chia pudding. So this is my dinner. I'll put some in there. Anyway, thank you, TikTok. It looks so good. It's really good, y'all. Thank you all so much for the support. See y'all tomorrow. All right. <laughs> you need to get my grocery list ahead of time. Oh, y'all love the finger foods. Oh, you something else? Oh, yeah. Y'all, this is really good. Honestly, I would just do 375 and let that cheese get crispy, but it is so good. All right, everybody. Is there a live with Lucy today? Lucy is Wednesdays and Fridays, Wednesdays and Fridays. All right. So we'll be back talking about Risa Tisa on Wednesday, another cooking stream tomorrow. All right, y'all, class is dismissed.